Okay, so this morning the catastrophe that is the government's mishandling of the housing crisis um, is on full display. Uh, we see uh, the commencement figures uh, for last month showing not only a significant drop on the previous month, but almost 20% drop in the last 12 months. This has been well flagged by industry. Uh, they have been telling us for quite a number of months that rising interest rates are making it more expensive to deliver homes and more expensive to buy homes uh, and that there would be a fall off in commencements this year. That's not just going to have an impact this year and next year in terms of private homes, but given that about 80% of all social and affordable homes are purchased from private developers as turnkeys in part fives, it's also going to have a very significant impact uh, on the delivery of social and affordable homes, in many cases for those people at greatest risk of homelessness. Uh, at the same time, we see the Land Development Agency after four and a half years telling us that the state has large amounts of land that homes can be built on and that will come to a shock as a shock to nobody. Almost all of the sites they've listed are sites that we've known for many years uh, uh, could be suitable locations for housing. Uh, what the report doesn't say, of course, is the Land Development Agency can do literally nothing uh, to uh, force those state agencies uh, to transfer that land to the LDA because the government refused to give the Land Development Agency uh, com comprehensive compulsory purchase order powers, something we called for at the time. And therefore, while we know there is very significant volumes of good quality land in good locations that could be used for public housing, uh, the LDA uh, uh, has one hand tied behind its back in terms of accessing that. Now, on top of that, uh, the LDA report is indicating that even if this land were to be acquired and developed, in some cases it could be a decade before homes would be delivered. Uh, and if all of that isn't bad enough, uh, the LDA currently aren't actually delivering any affordable homes at all. You'll have seen their recent uh, uh, units advertised in Delgany and City West, 13, 14 and 1500 euros uh, a month for relatively standard rental properties uh, uh, and actually quite similarly priced to the actual rents that many renters are paying in those areas uh, separate to the new rents. Uh, and then this week, uh, government seems uh, uh, to uh, uh, be willing to press ahead with an ending of the ban on evictions on Friday, um, despite the fact that all of the evidence shows it is going to lead to a very significant increase, both in hidden homelessness, people forced to move back with family and friends, uh, as well as uh, official homelessness in the emergency accommodation system. Uh, and given that that system is at breaking point, it could also lead to a rise in rough sleeping uh, and other intolerable situations. As you know, we have our bill today, uh, and I'm making a final appeal to all independents, all of those TDs uh, in the Oireachtas uh, who will have been speaking to people over the weekend who are at risk of losing their homes. Do not vote to allow homelessness to increase uh, from uh, this weekend. Uh, do not uh, vote uh, to send people into the uncertainty of not knowing where they'll go uh, when their eviction notice falls due. Support the Sinn Féin bill and send a very, very clear signal to government that we want the ban on no-fault evictions extended. Absolutely, uh, uh, I have no confidence in this government and, and those three stories that I've just mentioned are further evidence as to why uh, they should be booted out of office. Uh, I, I think the evidence is very clear, the most immediate thing this country needs is a general election. So long as Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael remain in government and remain in charge of housing, things are going to get worse. There is no evidence to suggest uh, otherwise. Uh, and in fact, to have an election uh, in the spring is the best time to have an election, uh, and certainly anyone I'm talking to uh, wants to see rid of this government. Uh, the longer we leave Dara O'Brien, Micheál Martin and Leo Varadkar in charge of housing, the worse things will get. House prices will continue to rise, rents will continue to rise, homelessness will continue to rise, and government will continue to miss their social and affordable housing target. So uh, I'll take a general election tomorrow uh, if one is available. Uh, and it will give us an opportunity to deliver a strong message of change and hopefully a government of change.